So a fourth accuser filed a lawsuit against Diddy, former bad boy president Harv Pierre, and an unnamed man. And while the lawsuit doesn't come as a surprise, it has opened up another can of worms. Reason? This accuser was SA'd when she was just 17. And now there is a whole other conversation about other Hollywood elites who SA'd teenagers. And at the top of the list is Jay-Z, who allegedly even SA'd young girls with Diddy. And I'm talking Aaliyah, Foxy, and even his beloved wife, Beyonce. Okay, in the fourth lawsuit that was filed by the unnamed woman, she said that Diddy, Harv Pierre, and another man gang R word and her in 2003 when she was a 17-year-old high school junior. According to the complaint, Harv told a teenager that Diddy would love to meet her and encouraged her to fly with him on a private jet to New York City to do so. While they were still at the lounge, Harv allegedly took Jane Doe to the restroom, where he took crack and then suddenly forced her to go down on him. As if that wasn't enough, the lawsuit continues to say that after Harv directed her to take the flight with him and two others to Daddy's House recording studio in New York City, City, which Diddy owned, Jane Doe then said that as the night progressed, the three men gave her alcohol and other hard stuff, and she became more and more inebriated, eventually to the point that she could not possibly have consented to hooking up with anyone, much less someone twice her age. The lawsuit then described Diddy taking advantage of her in a bathroom as she went in and out of consciousness, and the unnamed man did the same as Diddy watched, and then Harv followed. Let me just tell you that the details in the lawsuit suit are so graphic you could actually throw up. Like these men were really behaving like animals. Jane Doe said that when they were done with her it was so bad that she had to be escorted out of the building because she could hardly walk and that she barely remembers how she got back home. She also provided pictures proving that she not only met Diddy on the night in question but was also with him in the studio the same night. In the lawsuit she also said that as a result of what happened to her she has suffered significant emotional distress and feelings of shame that have plagued her life and personal relationships for 20 years. Now, for the first time since the lawsuits were made, Diddy directly responded, and this is what he said, quote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, family and for the truth. So as I said, this fourth lawsuit didn't just have three people looking at Diddy sideways, but it also brought up the name of another person notorious for hooking up with underaged girls, and that's Jay-Z. For starters, there have always been allegations and people from back in the day saying that Jay-Z hooked up with Foxy when she was just 15. Wendy said it. This was allegedly a romantic thing. It's, it's all right, I'll say alleged, but we know we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce. <laughs> And Nas also put it in his song, Ether, where he said, Foxy got you hot cause you kept your face in her P-U-S-S-Y. What you think, you getting girls now cause of your looks? Other than that, there were also reports saying that Jay was also funding Foxy's shopping trips and paying for her hair and nail salons while she was still in high school. In fact, people who went to school with Foxy say that Jay-Z used to pick her up when she went to school and according to them, Biggie used to pick her up too, but they were legit friends. But everybody Everybody knew her and Jay were together. So there's also this wild rumor that there's even tape out there of Jay and Foxy getting down and dirty with Jamie Foxx. And Jay-Z made Foxy sign multiple gag orders after she, Jamie, and Jay engaged in a threesome. Coincidentally, not long after the incident, the tape was ironically robbed from her home. And other than the allegation that they engaged in a threesome, there were also rumors that Jay-Z even gave Foxy an STD. Something else that proved that Jay was definitely hooking up with young Foxy was the things he made her say in her songs. Foxy and Jay collaborated on numerous occasions throughout the 90s, and Jay actually wrote several songs on Foxy's debut album. Now, tell me why this grown man had a 15-year-old recording things like Ain't No N***. 
the one I got. No one can F you better. Sleeps around, but he gives me a lot. Keeps you in diamonds and leathers. Friends tell me I should leave you alone. Tell them freaks to find a man of their own. Jay-Z also literally wrote that he was running after Foxy Brown in her song, Il Na Na. He did not rap in the song, but he is the one who wrote this part of the song. First the mansion, then the yacht sound proper. Straight cash got bloodhounds trying to hunt down the brown fox. Here's the thing though, when Jay-Z was apparently done with Foxy, he not only dumped her, but he also made sure that she would not succeed in the music industry by using his influence to blacklist her. But other than Foxy, there was also Aaliyah, who as many people have always suspected, her death has Jay-Z written all over it. I had forgotten Jay -Z knew that about... So he what happened to Aaliyah. So when it comes to Aaliyah, the person who got most of the heat for taking advantage of her when she was literally still a child was R. Kelly, who lured Aaliyah into a very controversial and highly inappropriate relationship before forging documents to marry her when she was still underage and even got her pregnant. But R. Kelly wasn't the only one taking advantage of Aaliyah, cause Jay was also hooking up with her, allegedly. I saw Jay-Z and he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They b***ed Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. But remember, Nas also suggested that Jay-Z knew what R. Kelly was doing with young girls, especially Aaliyah. And he told Wendy Williams during an interview when a tape of R. Kelly with an underage girl leaked, I could have showed the R. Kelly video that everybody's talking about and made fun of it and show pictures of Jay hanging out. You can't tell me Jay didn't see a 14-year-old girl come into the studio and sit on R. Kelly's lap. You gonna tell me he didn't see no 14-year-old girl come into the vicinity? I mean, it was also public knowledge that at some point in Aaliyah's career that Jay-Z wanted to marry her. Unfortunately, at the time when Jay wanted to date Aaliyah, she had already chosen to be with his friend Dame Dash, who, by the way, Jay-Z destroyed. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dame. Like, I don't give a if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. Apparently, Dame Dash wasn't the only one who suffered the consequences, because there have also always been allegations that Jay-Z was directly involved in Aaliyah's death. And when he couldn't end up with Aaliyah, Jay-Z picked his next victim, Beyonce. Now, Jay-Z and Beyonce tried to convince the public that they started dating when Beyonce was 19. But people from back in the day say that they were together when Beyonce was much younger. Somehow, Jay-Z managed to make sure that Beyonce stayed with him and even got married to him. But have y'all ever heard the details about how he has been controlling her for years? Carly, nobody knows. But I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce, she been on him for a long time. And you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bought. Girl, Jay having Queen Bay on to control her is something that has actually been said by a number of people. And the more jumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> not, not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is she is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Obviously, the control is to prevent Beyonce from spilling the real tea about him. Girl, first R. Kelly, then Diddy, and I wonder who would be next. But one thing that a lot of people say is that these men are responsible for destroying a lot of women's lives after targeting them, subjecting them to SA, and then dumping them. And I don't know if they will ever be held fully accountable, but I would love to know your thoughts on how they targeted and SA'd the teenagers. So leave your comments down below. Oh.